Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another grocery haul and meal plan. Today is Saturday. It is about quarter to four and I'm looking like a hot mess because grocery shopping was quite a workout today. <laughs> so I got my trunk loaded up. I just got home. I spent a lot of money, so no judgment please. Uh, but I got a lot of non-food stuff from Walmart as well as some meat that we're gonna smoke for Memorial Day. And then I went to Hy-Vee and got my produce. So all in all, I spent a little over $400. So let me get this stuff inside and I will show you everything that I got. So rather than take all these drinks inside and show you what I got, I am gonna end up putting them in the fridge in the garage out here. So I just left them in the back <laughs> of my SUV and then I'm gonna show you what I got so I can get them loaded in the fridge. So. Jess from Bless Jess is always buying the Diet Cherry Dr. Oh, this isn't Diet Cherry. Oh yeah, it is. Diet Cherry Dr. Pepper. So I thought we'd give that a try. Uh, this is newer, I think. It's the Clear American, so the sweetened um, sparkling water cherry limeade. So I grabbed that because I thought that sounded good. Um, I got some Diet Squirt just because I always like to keep some diet soda on hand that's caffeine free. I got some of the LaCroix Pineapple Strawberry. I got some Sam Adams summer ale. Oh, you see one's missing. Look, I already cracked one open because I'm thirsty and it's freaking hot. Uh, okay. I got some mango white claw. This is the best white claw flavor. I think I got some Coors Light. I got some, uh, Gatorade zero, some, um, bottled water. The kids usually take these to school. And then I got two bottles of cheap spumante or, you know, sparkling wine, champagne, whatever. Uh, because tomorrow is Sunday and what do we do on Sundays? We drink mimosas. All right, I'm going to go in and I'll show you the rest. All right, here we go. So let's do this. So for produce, I got a bag, a five pound bag of potatoes because I was out of those and I thought maybe I would do baked potatoes one night this week. I'm not sure. I got watermelon at hy -Vee. I'll probably cut that up for dinner tonight. These were on sale for $2.49, which is a really good price, so hopefully that one is good. I got some bean sprouts for a uh, Asian noodle salad that I'm going to make, and then some lemons, because I always like to keep those in the fridge and we are all out. I saw cherries in the grocery store, so I had to get some of these. They're uh, a little bit pricey. I think this is two pounds and it was around seven or eight dollars. Um, but you always have to get those when it's that time of year. I grabbed some blackberries, some bananas. We are all out of those. Some slicing tomatoes for sandwiches or salads. We still had some peppers left in the fridge from last week. So I just got one red bell pepper. And then tonight I'm going to make corn on the cob. So I went ahead and got six ears of sweet corn. I don't think this is Iowa sweet corn. It didn't say that it was. Um, it just said it was grown in the USA. So I'm not sure where it came from. Uh, I got a bag of Pink Lady apples. We actually went through almost all of the apples. There's one left from last week because Connor's been eating them a lot. So I grabbed another bag of those, some grapes to wash up and have in the fridge. And then I got some Granny Smith apples because I'm going to try to make homemade applesauce. So I got, let's see, nine of these. Um, for that Asian noodle salad, I got some uh, fresh ginger, two pounds of strawberries, some cilantro, and then I got a mix of baby spinach and arugula. Kira likes to have spinach on her sandwiches, so I can pick those, you know, pick that out of there for her. I've never seen these before, but these cherry tomatoes are called sugar bombs, um, so those look good. So I grabbed those. They were a little bit pricey. And then I got three zucchinis because I'm planning on making uh, zucchini bread. Um, Connor likes the YoPlay orange yogurt. I think it's like orange cream and I haven't gotten any for him in a while, but I saw this, the Walmart brand of orange yogurt and I think it was like a dollar 47 for four of these. So I went ahead and got this to see if he would like that instead. Um, I got some fresh mozzarella because I have some basil out on the um, deck some fresh basil. So I thought I could do like some caprese salad with that in the tomatoes uh, For lunch meat. I got some ham and cheese loaf comment down below if you Have tried ham and cheese loaf and if you like it Adam loves this and we used to actually I remember it used to having it when I was a kid um, I don't think the kids really like it and then I grabbed some crap singles because we were running low on those 
some blue cheese. I might make some uh, blue cheese dressing for salad this week. And then this is something that I actually saw online on the Walmart grocery pickup. I didn't do Walmart grocery pickup, but sometimes I go on there and try to get ideas for groceries. I'm trying to get snacks that we can grab um, like during the summer that aren't necessarily like chips and super unhealthy stuff. I know obviously beef sticks are not <laughs> super healthy, but uh, at least they're low in carbs. So I think these are like Slim Jims, but let me know if you've tried these. The good thing about these is that they don't have to be refrigerated, so the kids can throw those, throw those in their bag if they want for school also. Uh, I got some salami for lunch meat, some uh, shredded mozzarella cheese, I got some bacon. I don't really have a plan for this, but it's always good to keep bacon on hand. Uh, I got some ham deli meat, some turkey pepperoni. I always keep this in the fridge for the kids to snack on. Uh, I got some chive and onion cream cheese spread. So last week I made these wraps, these like rainbow hummus wraps. And um, one of my friends texted me and said that she made them with cream cheese instead and they were really good. So I had to get some of this and try that. I got some uh, turkey deli meat, we were all out of that. Some sharp cheddar cheese sticks, I get these every week for snacks. And then some sliced cheddar cheese for sandwiches. Uh, I got a pound of uh, salted butter, half and half uh, for my coffee, some Fairlife chocolate milk, I got some uh, a gallon of milk and some of the Simply Peach. This is really good to drink or it's also really good in mimosas. I got two of these by, I tried this the other day, I got one at the gas station. This is the Strawberry Lemonade. It's really, really good. And so when I saw these at Walmart for like $1.48, I picked up a couple of those. I grabbed 18 eggs. Uh, these were actually from Hy-Vee. These are ranch flavored cheddar cheese curds. I thought those sounded good, so I grabbed those. Uh, we are all out of cereal, so uh, I got Golden Grams. Actually, that's my favorite kind of cereal. I don't eat a lot of cereal, but other people like that too. And then for Connor, I got Cocoa Puffs. I got a box of Triscuits. I'm pretty much, well, Kira likes those too, but her and I are the only ones that like them. So I got this last week, and this is the Vanilla Bean Noosa. This was so good. You can see like in there, there's the little vanilla bean flex so I grabbed two more of those for myself to have for breakfast this week I got a bag of mini semi-sweet chocolate chips I just like to keep those in the pantry for baking and then on Memorial Day which is Monday Adam is gonna smoke some meat so I got three whole chickens these two came in a pack together and then I bought this one separately so he will brine those and put those on the smoker. We'll, sh we'll show that probably in, in a weekend video. I was out of cream of chicken soup in the pantry and I have stuff on hand to make tater tot salad. So I thought tater tot salad, <laughs> tater tot casserole. <laughs> and I use cream of chicken in my tater tot casserole. So I thought I would get this just to have on hand for a meal if we needed it. Uh, I got some diced pears. These are the ones with Splenda. I thought the kids could put these in their lunches. They have another week of school left yet, but even in the summer when they go to summer camp, sometimes they bring their own lunch depending on what they have on the menu there that day. So I'll still be packing lunches, you know, during the summer. It's not like I'm home to make them lunch. So, okay. So, uh, I don't think we've ever done this before, but Adam is going to try to smoke some sausages on the smoker. So I just went ahead and got two packages of the fresh bratwurst. This isn't like flavored or Italian sausage or anything. It's just plain sausage in casing. So we'll see how that turns out. I'm sure it'll be delicious. Uh, I got one pound cake. This is for a recipe that I'm going to be filming um, for an ice cream cake. So it's a Pioneer Woman recipe, so you can find it online if you want. But uh, I grabbed one of those. I got some canola oil for baking. I was totally out of that. And then also I like to use this, like if I shallow fry anything, I usually use canola oil instead of olive oil. Um, I got some Nutella. This is the great value Nutella. I just buy that. It tastes the same. Um, I got a can of pumpkin because I was out of that. And I have a recipe for pumpkin chocolate chip muffins that sometimes I make uh, for the kids. So I wanted that. Uh, I got some baked beans to have with our chicken and sausage on Monday. This is the rub that I got for um, the chickens. This is a original 
dry rub by Weber. It says it's for beef, pork, or chicken. Um, I think we usually, don't we usually use the famous famous Dave's. I usually make the rub. Oh, I usually make it. You don't feel like it? Okay. So I got that. Uh, they they didn't have any famous Dave's chicken rub there. They just had um, pork or rib rub. So I got that instead. Uh, I got some yellow mustard. I think we're out of soy sauce or almost out. So I got some of the Kikoman uh, less sodium soy sauce. That's normally the kind I get. I've never tried this before, but it looked really good. This is the Southwest Chipotle Ranch Dressing. Um, so I thought we would try that. For the ice cream cake, it calls for this Smucker's Magic Shell chocolate. So I grabbed one of those. And then also it calls for some different candies that you chop up and put in there. So uh, Reese's, I just got the mini Reese's and then the mini M&M's. I got some corn muffin mix. I thought maybe since we were going to have barbecue um, on Monday that I might make some corn muffins. And then all of the fruit and grain <laughs> bars that I normally buy for the kids were like totally wiped out of stock. Uh, I, I normally get like the raspberry or the mixed berry or the cherry, but they didn't have any of those. So I got the apple and cinnamon. Um, Connor likes to eat these sometimes for breakfast or the kids have them in their um, bag for a snack at school. I was totally out of vinegar, and this is also what I use to wash my produce, so I got some more of that. I was also running low on um, flour and sugar. I keep them over there on the counter in canisters, um, and I always try to keep those stocked up for baking, so I got more of that. I've never bought this from Walmart before, but these are just little pouches of trail mix. I've, I've gotten these before at Aldi, and the kids really like them. So there's eight pouches in there, and it has... Peanuts, raisins, M&Ms, almonds, and cashews. So I grabbed that. I got some Flamin' Hot Cheetos. Um, both Adam and Kira really like those. And then tell me if you guys have tried Sturzings. Are Sturzings made in Burlington? Isn't that right? Yeah. So Sturzings are made in Iowa. I, I can't. I can't see where that. But uh, anyway, so it's it's kind of like a Midwest thing. But let me know if you've tried these before. I got these. I, personally, I don't really care for Sturzings all that much. I'd rather have Lay's, but I know Adam really likes them. But if you're going to grill out or cook out and you're going to have baked beans, you need chips because you have to scoop up the baked beans with the plain potato chip and it's delicious. So let me know if you've tried Sturzings before and whether you like them or not. Uh, I got some wheat bread. I always get the Sara Lee honey wheat. We were all out of that. Some sour cream, some chocolate ice cream for the ice cream cake some white wine vinegar. There was a recipe that called for that and I didn't have any in the cupboard. And then the Asian noodle salad calls for oyster sauce. So I grabbed a bottle of that. I got some Bang energy drinks for Adam. Pina Colada, I don't think he's tried that one before. Uh, Blue Haze, Cotton Candy, Power Punch, Lemon Drop. And then this one is the Unicorn or Rainbow Unicorn. I think I've gotten that one before. I got buns, so hamburger buns, hot dog buns, and then I also got some, uh, these are called pork loin fritters, but actually what they are is tenderloins. So I'm gonna make these for dinner tonight with corn on the cob and watermelon, and basically you just shallow fry these in a pan with like canola oil or vegetable oil until, until they're crispy, then you have them on a bun, and it's like a tenderloin, it's delicious. I was gonna make or grill out hamburgers tonight, but I saw these and I was like, oh man, I haven't had tenderloin forever, so I'm gonna make that instead. I got some toaster strudels. Connor likes these and I try to only buy the smaller boxes of six and I don't buy them every week because if I did, he would just eat them <laughs> nonstop. And then I got some Roaring Waters. This is the grape flavor. This is what the kids usually take in their lunch when they take lunch to school. Uh, we're all out of flour tortillas and usually I keep these in the refrigerator either, either to make quesadillas or wraps for the kids' lunches. And then I saw these. I've gotten these before, but it's been a while. This is the Joseph's Lavash bread. So there's five flatbreads in here. And these are great to do like meal prep for work. You can do like some kind of a pinwheel wrap or a sandwich wrap. And they're pretty low in carbs. They're 110 calories. And then they have 16 carbs and three fibers. So 13 carbs total. But if you're kind of watching your carbs or you don't want to eat a lot of bread, these are good to use. You can also use them as pizza crusts. And then this is another thing that I saw online on the Walmart grocery pickup site that I've never, I mean, it's been in the store. I've just never noticed it before. So these are the Quaker 
rice crisps in the single serve bags. So they come with caramel, cheddar, ranch, and apple cinnamon. So I thought those would probably be a little bit healthier than chips, but I also did get some uh, Pringles. That's the variety pack. So original sour cream and onion and cheddar cheese. For some reason, I always feel like Pringles are a better choice than regular chips, but I'm probably just crazy because they're probably exactly the same. <laughs> um, I got some more uh, downy infusions. These are the scent beads I like to use, the Amber Blossom. That's my favorite scent. Um, I saw this book, and I thought I would get it for Connor. It's the just one of these math workbooks, addition and subtraction. So this is for grades one and two, which he's going into first grade next year. Um, he's a really good reader, and I think he's probably pretty good at math too, but I thought maybe he could work on this during the summer. And then I also needed a binder with some um, page protector dividers, so I grabbed that. I got some post-it notes because we were running low on those. So these actually I found online too. So there are three by five post-it notes and they're lined, which I thought was neat. And then I just got two of the regular square ones, um, some more Sharpie pens, and then I did get some index cards. Uh, one of my friends at work and I are going to be working on studying for the CPHQ exam. It's a certified professional in healthcare quality. And so we have like a standing meeting each week to sort of study together. And so uh, we needed some index cards for that. And then Kira, I cannot find her swimsuit. I don't know how kids lose swimsuits, but they are going to the water park the last week of school. And so I just grabbed this cheap one at Target. I think it was like $8. Um, but it's always nice to have obviously more than one swimsuit for kids, especially in the summer when we swim a lot. Uh, I got some dog bones for Murphy, some forks, plastic forks. I always have to take my own plastic forks to work and I was out. Okay, so I did get some ball jars. Um, I want to make beef stock this weekend because I have some trimmings in the freezer and I was all out of the larger size of um, jars. So I went ahead and picked these up. These are not the ball brand, they're Anchor Hawking, but these are the one quart canning and preserving jars. So I grabbed those and then I also got some of these smaller uh, jelly jars. Um, I was thinking of doing like some yogurt parfaits in these. So um, Kira really likes those and she could take those to school or have them for breakfast. And then lastly, I just got some um, PJs for Connor. He's He has a bunch of pajama pants that are getting too small for him and a lot of them are like winter pajamas and so he needs some new ones for summer. So I got him three of these sets. They were only $8 each, which I thought was actually a really good price. Um, and they're just pajamas, so you know, they're from Walmart, who cares? Uh, so this one is like a sports set and they all come with shorts. This one is like a video game theme and then this one is like an astronaut theme. So I got three of those and then I got him this t-shirt that has the Fortnite. I don't even know who that is, but anyway, I think he's flossing. Good God. Uh, okay, so that is everything I got from Walmart. I will share with you the meal plan. Okay, so once again, I forgot to film my meal plan right after I did the grocery haul. So I could tell you how it went this week. Uh, Sunday, I was planning on making the Pioneer Woman meat pies, but honestly, it was so nice. We wanted to eat outside. So I went ahead and did some chicken on the grill with salad and baked potatoes. It was delicious, and we ate out on the deck on our new patio furniture. Uh, Monday was Memorial Day. Adam made smoked chicken on the smoker and smoked sausage. Uh, we did have green beans. I did not end up making mac and cheese. We had green beans, baked beans, uh, watermelon and chips. I, I did not make deviled eggs and then I did not end up making that ice cream cake. On Tuesday, we were supposed to have Pioneer Woman sour cream noodle bake. We did not have that. I seriously don't know what we had Tuesday night, so I wish I could tell you. I feel like maybe we just had sandwiches. I don't know, this week was a fail. Wednesday, I did a home chef meal, chicken cordon bleu with mashed potatoes and zucchini. Thursday, I have sandwiches or leftovers, but we actually ended up uh, going out to eat after Kira's uh, STEM graduation. We had sushi. Uh, last night was Friday. We went ahead and ordered pizza. So we got a big salad with ranch and some cheese sticks and some pizza. And then tonight is Saturday. Adam said he wanted to do sous vide burgers. So like hamburgers in the sous vide and then sear them on the grill when they're done. 
uh, and then I was thinking about making corn on the cob and tomato salad, but it is now 1.20, and we have not started that yet, so I'm not quite sure what's going on there, but we'll figure it out. But anyway, thanks for watching this grocery haul and meal plan. If you're new here, I do post one of these every week on Friday or Saturday, so I will see you in my next video. Bye. Hey, where have you been? I've been looking for you now and then Someone just like you